Okay, we have a we have an unboxing in the wild. We have a pair of low heat we just picked up from Kith. And uh, we're just gonna do an unboxing right here, right now. Get this up on the YouTube channel ASAP. I'm gonna use my lovely assistant here as an unboxing platform. But today we have the Air Jordan 6 Retro in University Blue, white and black, or the U North Carolina colors. And these retailed for, uh, doesn't show on here, but these retail for $210, which is uh, pretty expensive, especially when you add in uh, California tax. Uh, but uh, shout out to Kith. I have good luck with the medium to low heat from them. So let's see, we got obviously the Carolina blue box. Nice box there. The uh, cement, cement packaging on the bottom. And here we go. Got the nice cement paper there. If you're wondering what this watch is, it's the Seiko 5 uh, series watch. I did an unboxing of this, check that out. Don't mind my unlotioned hands. Oh, didn't even, I unboxed it and didn't even like, I was talking about my watch. Look at those. Those are pretty damn icy. What do we think? I like them. She likes them. I like them. The, uh, the unboxing assistant I likes them. This this is my first pair of sixes that I've I've bought. Uh, I like the. I mean, you can't really go wrong with these. Mm -mm. It's kind of a yellower. I mean, it's not potentially yellow, but the air air unit is definitely an off white, not icy white uh, inside. Uh, you have this nubuck leather on the the outside and your standard uh, leather, white leather there. Uh, on the back, instead of a Nike Air or Jumpman logo, you have this Jordan Team logo, kind of thrown out to the, the PE colorways or team colorways that Jordan Brand does with Jordan affiliated schools. They've now done these with like the Oregon Fives and some others, uh, kind of uh, cratering anyone who was lucky enough to have PEs. I don't. I wonder why Jordan Brand does that. They definitely are aware of the resale market. Sometimes they don't care about it, but uh, it is, it, anyone who had actual PEs uh, is hurting because uh, now Jordan Brand and Nike are just doing this stuff on the regular. But I, I really like this. You got the kind of the translucent outsole. Uh, these are definitely, so these came out in 1991 originally. Uh, when Jordan won his first championship. At that point, I was, that was when I was starting to pay attention to Jordan and the Bulls. I was, I was pretty young, but uh, this is when I first started paying attention to uh, the Bulls being amazing and, and Jordan being amazing. And then shortly after he did his first retirement and when he came back, that's when I really liked, was a big Jordan fan. When he came, when he was doing baseball and then when he came back for the, uh, and he had the 11s, the 12s, the 13s and the and the 14s. Those were the shoes I remember growing up with, the kids having at my middle school and stuff. Though I didn't like them because they were chunky like this. I mean, this is a super heavy uh, performance shoe. Now shoes are much lighter. Uh, this is super heavy. And those, the 11s, 12s, 13s, 14s, I was a soccer player, so mainly liked indoor soccer shoes. Definitely couldn't do recess activities, in my opinion, in these was not light and nimble in these chunky shoes or could play soccer. So I did not did not have a pair, did not want a pair, but these are nostalgic for me because a lot of kids did have um, the 11s, 12s, 13s. Again, I was a little young for when these first came out, but these got retroed in 2000 and on many times after that. Uh, but yeah, definitely like these. Now this is this colorway came out in, in grade school, smaller men's and then all grade school sizings. And I could definitely see uh, everyone liking these, ladies included. Uh, what, do you like these? Yeah, and I'm not a huge fan of the six. Um, yeah. I have the Travis Scott's, which I love, but I, I actually really you, like this colorway. You don't uh, like the tongue? No, the tongue just rubs it, me. Oh, yeah. It, 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 you gotta wear some long pants or some higher socks with those. But yeah, this is a stiff tongue, yeah. can cut into the ankle, but... Uh, and, you like this colorway though. And just so you know, I'm a Kentucky fan, so mm -hmm. it's hard for me to admit it, but yeah. I do really like this colorway a lot. I think it you could wear it so many different ways. 
It only comes with one pair of laces. Um, but yeah, this is a. Uh, do you do you happen to know which uh, school, college Jordan went to? Not Kentucky. No other school matters. Hint no, here. North Carolina. Oh. No, I I, I know. Oh, did, I, did I'm we? I'm just saying, excuse okay. me, any, any school that's not Kentucky okay. for basketball really doesn't matter. All right, going on a big Kentucky tangent. That's because <laughs> that's yeah. because she's wearing the Kentucky dunks today. So, uh, but yeah, uh, if if you are someone who doesn't know Jordan's history and want these, or a lady, uh, he did go to UNC. So this is this is part of the reason they came out in this colorway. You should uh, uh, know that might impress some people. Uh, yeah. It's bare minimum fact to know. Anyways, overall rating, I'll give these a rating. I forget, I forget to do that on some shoes. Uh, last ones I unboxed as well. Um, I think I'm going to give these... Um, I think I'm going to give these a 7 out of 10. 6 just isn't my favorite silhouette. It's not bad by any means. Um, it's in my top 10 Jordan silhouettes, and there's like 20, 24 of them. Uh... And this colorway is pretty clean, pretty icy, do like it. I tend to gravitate towards the OG colorways, like the infrareds would probably be my my number ones. Uh, but I like these, this is the Carmine color blocking, and I like that color blocking scheme on these. So uh, yeah, I'll give them a seven out of 10. Seven out of 10, uh, recommend. And these are reselling for above retail, but not crazy. So uh, it was expensive to begin with. And now they're going for like uh, 300 something. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I will chime in real quick. These tongues do seem a little bit softer than mm, my tongues on the Travis's. Yeah. I think they're the same though. But maybe it the underside. Be. Underside has the, the pattern uh, from, I think the sevens have this pattern, but pretty wild pattern. And then the insole, there's the insole for you. So yeah, what do you, what do you guys think about the uh, uh, Jordan brand doing a lot of these like PE style colorways? Uh, do you like that, or would you prefer they were a little bit more elusive? I mean, most people can't get their hands on them, so I'm guessing most people like that they now have the the ability to get something like these. Um, I do feel for the people who happen to have the rare pairs, and now now the value's tanked a little bit. But uh, yeah, please uh, subscribe and follow for more low heat unboxings coming up very quickly.